Hello YouTube. Had to take a deep breath. You almost could probably hear me. It is only 64 degrees in my shop and we're lucky if it's that outside. It is a cold day after raining. Cold front moving in. This time of year it's Friday. I cannot tell you the date. But this video will be posted as soon as I'm done making it this afternoon or evening. So here's the bits I ordered from Amazon. Okay, I ordered them and they were fulfilled by Amazon, which cost me eight bucks. I could have had them for four bucks coming from some company. Well, last time I got something from a company through Amazon, it didn't turn out very well. So I went the little more expensive route. But, oh well. Uh, on the reviews, there are some complaints about some of these small ones are all the same size. Well, this is all I had to measure with, these dial calipers. They could be off a half a thousand, okay? So before we show you the bits, we'll just show you a chart. You look up a millimeter. Let's hold this up here. See one millimeter? See, it's 0 0.0394. When you start getting an extra digit there where the four is, you're getting in a tenth of a thousandth. And, uh, even go up here to decimals with inches. See, so you can go over like a sixteenth. I'm trying to get it lined up where I can read it. It's 1.58 whatever millimeters, 1 16th. Well, I have another set of caliper. I don't want to dig them out in this video. Uh, they're way more accurate than these. Because I can measure something that's a 16th and measure with these. And these are not as accurate as my other ones that are just fractional. They're not even really meant for thousands. Uh, the most, it's got like marks you can measure every 10 thousands. I'll try to make a video on them someday. Uh, they're the Harbor Freight fractional ones. We don't want to get off the subject. Anyway, so I really had no way to measure them uh, to see the complaints on that. Okay, to open these, this is what I did. I took a screwdriver down here. But before I did that, I had to bend this tab. There's little ledges on here. I had to bend it to get this to slide. Well, it half broke. I just broke it off. So, you're not hanging them up. This is how I, I did try to take them through the hole. There's a hole up here. Where you can slide it over to get what you want. But what I did is I just kept it on the table carefully like that. Like I said, you could slide the hole and do that. And get you up here and try to see how close we can get. We don't want these to fall out, whatever we do. A couple I did switch. Uh, say you have a 0 0.75 of a millimeter and a 0 0.8. And then say like 0 0.85. I switched to them around. 0 0.75 was bigger than the 0 0.8. Even though these aren't that accurate. They're accurate enough to tell that those didn't seem right. When I measured a lot of these little ones. There's no way. I just gave up. I would measure them with those things. I'd have to have a really good micrometer. Like I said. Uh, for my use I don't care. I'm going to find out what fits in the jet. So I want to rejet my Honda motor on oh, my lawnmower is surging. If I want to rejet that eight horse Honda someday before winter, uh, I need help getting it out here. It's too heavy. I can't carry it by myself. Uh, get it out there on the table. It's real simple. You can take the jet out without removing the carburetor, the low speed jet. You just take out a screw uh, for your idle adjustment. And there's a little metal plug. I showed it in a video. Uh, if anybody watched the videos on the carburetor for that engine. So, this is not really a view, just my opinion is, you might get some of these that are the same size. But as I got up into these, these are more accurate. So anything down to, let's say three quarters of a millimeter, maybe a couple of, I'd say they're pretty consistent. Anything down about this length. These are iffy. So, buyer beware. I read the reviews and that's some of the complaints that they say you get five of one whole size over here or whatever, you know. But, for what I need them for, they're good enough. I think I yacked about it long enough. Just a Friday video on board. I figured I'd post a video. I've not been posting like I used to. I haven't been doing a lot of projects. So, there you go. I'll take a couple of pictures. I'll try to get some real close-ups of these, just for the fun of it. So, thanks for watching.